whose the political future of a south suburban city manager is at stake tonight. Oak Lawn Village officials planning a special meeting Monday to discuss possible disciplinary action against Larry Deetjen. This comes after Deetjen was arrested following a hit and run crash that left a man critically injured. Tonight, CBS 2's Jermont Terry is looking into the driving history of that city leader. That victim is still recovering here at Christ Hospital after that car driven by the Oak Lawn City Manager hit him and took off. And tonight we know the same Oak Lawn leader was involved in another accident where he left the scene just a few years back. <laughs> the scene along Harlem Avenue in Chicago Ridge left officers investigating a hit and run. In the middle of the road, police find Mark Berkshire bleeding and the driver and car who ran him over nowhere to be found. Investigators would later determine Larry Deachin, the Oak Lawn Village Manager, was behind the wheel. But listen to what the 70-year-old told police. Something distracted me, like a beep or some kind of horn or whatever, and I know I hit something, but I really thought it was like a barricade or some kind of drum or something sitting on the street, like they were doing construction on the street. Um, I looked around, nobody else was stopping, and I just, you know, I just left and came home. Yet, there was damage to his car, a car issued by Oak Lawn. CBS2 discovered Deachin sang the similar tune in 2013. That's when Palos Park Police found his village issue car unoccupied with undercarriage damage after the car hit a cement block on Southwest Highway. And like this week, the driver also missing. Cops ran the plate and traced the car in the ditch to the village of Oak Lawn, but it turns out a village of Oak Lawn truck and tow truck arrived to pick up the vehicle first. Deejan said he was not familiar with the area at night and made a U-turn and went into a ditch. In the 2013 incident, Deejan did not injure anyone, but also failed to stay on scene. This time, the accident left a man seriously injured. Police don't believe alcohol was a factor. He was distressed after hearing about it and everything like that. So, um, and he realized what the importance of how severe it was and everything at that time. So he's regretful what happened. No charges against Deachin are still pending tonight. But if the condition of that man critically injured in this hit and run changes, he could face even stiffer charges. At Christ Hospital, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.